Hi, this is James Lott, and I'll be giving a demonstration of the MediaMote application for Android devices. MediaMote gives you remote access to all the digital media stored on your home PC or another media server on your mobile device. So, when you start the application, you're first brought to the main screen here, which has two tabs, one for remote control and one for browsing. And so, we're already, we've started this application before, so we've already selected a media server to connect to. In this case, you can see here it's called Sunbear Media Center. And in the Sunbear Media Center, we have this list of categories of different types of media that are available. So, for example, we've got audio images and video. We can click on audio here. It'll show us a list of categories in the audio section. We can go by artist, album, genre, etc. And all these categories are provided by the media server itself. So we'll click on artists. We'll see a list of artists. We'll have choose Dwayne Burnside here. Live at the Mint is the name of the album. And now we're presented with a list of songs in the album. Oops, let me click on that one again. And so <clears throat> now we've got the list of songs in the album. We can click on any of these songs we want and the song will start playing. So we'll click on this one, Bad Bad Pain. You can see the little indicator came up to indicate this is the song that's playing. It started buffering. And now if we go back to the remote control screen, we can see the progress. We can see here at the top it has the now playing information, the name of the song, the album, etc. Down below it's got a progress slider which indicates how far along the track has progressed as well as the buffer progress you can see moving here along the middle. It's about halfway buffered at this point. And we've also got buttons down at the bottom to control the playback. So for example, we can pause the playback, you know, start it back up, no problem. All that works as expected. <clears throat> and you can also do anything you want at the same time the music is playing because it's handled in the background service and it'll keep playing while you do other tasks. So for example, we can browse other songs or we could even go to the home screen and use other applications. For right now, let's just go to the browse menu and we'll browse some different songs. Now you can see it remembers right where we were last time. And so we need to go back up the hierarchy. We'll go back up a little bit to the list of artists. This time we'll choose Carl Denson. He's got an album here, Dance Lesson Number 2. And now we'll do a long click on one of the songs, because let's say we want more options. We don't want to play the song right now, we want to play the song in a little while. Or we want to play all the songs. So we'll hold and click on this one. We can see that we're presented with more choices when we do a long click. So in this case, we'll say, oh, we'll play them all right now. So we'll change the album right now, we'll say play all. And now it'll play all the songs in this album right away. So now when we go back to the remote control list, or tab, we can see that the, the now playing info has been updated. It's starting to play the Carl Denton songs, and the buffering is, is starting to go here. It's starting to almost buffer to the end. <clears throat> and one interesting feature that Media Mode has to help make the playback extra smooth is that when it gets to the end of buffering one track, it starts buffering the next track ahead of time. So that when you get to the next song, the next track is already buffered and ready to go. So we can see that the buffering is completed for this song, and it's been a few more seconds, so by now the buffer should be pretty complete, at least up to a quarter of the way on the next song. So let's press the fast forward button to skip ahead. And we can see we've gone to the next song, there was no delay, it didn't have to buffer at all, and the buffer's almost finished on the second song already. So the look ahead buffering is really convenient if you don't want to have to wait in between songs, which is especially nice when you're listening to a continuous album. And so also, Another feature, of course, is that you can change the orientation. So we'll change it to landscape mode. We'll notice that nothing changes at all. I mean, it changes the orientation, but everything is still in sync. It's still got the same progress indicator moving along. The buttons have slightly changed the orientation in order to fit better on the screen. But everything is still working. We go back to browse, and the browse menu still has the same content, etc. All right. Now, we'll close it back up, go back to regular mode so you can see it better on the screen here. And I'd just like to show that while it's still playing, of course, we can go back to the home screen. Everything keeps playing, no problem, the music's still going. We can start up the browser. See the browser's working fine. We can go back, email, anything else. So the background process allows us to listen to music while we're doing other stuff. It doesn't interfere with anything what we're doing. And, of course, while we're doing this, the application has been stopped, but the service continues to run in the background. So now, when we go back to the main menu here, we can go back to the application itself. And you'll notice that it picks up exactly where the song is currently playing. It's got the progress indicator that's been moving along the whole time. 
and it's got everything back where it should be. So now let's do another type of media. Right now we've looked at the audio, but we can also browse different types of content. So this time let's choose images. So now let's use images. Images happen to be arranged by calendar and this particular media server, which is just by date. Um, we'll just choose a particular date here. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, let's use March, let's say, March 3rd. And then we've got a list of pictures that were taken on March 3rd. So if we click on one of these, it'll start loading the picture. And there we can see the picture displayed right here and then pressing the back button brings us back to the list of pictures and you can see we're doing all this as the music is still playing in the background everything's buffering fine and there's no skips so the only caveat right now is the media mode player plays photo or plays audio and it shows photos right now it does not do streaming video but that's hopefully a feature that will be added in the near future and it seems to be a very useful application i hope you enjoyed this demonstration thank you